in South America, you get these giant hummingbirds up in the Andes. And for many years, it was known that there was a population up in the Andes. And then there was another population that was kind of along the West Coast and dry areas of uh, South America. And some incredible work by uh, Jesse Williamson for her dissertation at the University of New Mexico has shown that, that these are actually genetically distinct and they have some incredible differences. So the high elevation birds, which is what this bird represents here, stay in the high elevations all the time and they have some uh, bunch of neat adaptations in their genomes for that. These other birds breed down in the lowlands and then they undergo an incredible migration where they move all the way up into central Peru in the highlands to spend the winter up at high elevations in, in uh, central Peru. And so this was something that people had never even realized until uh, the folks from New Mexico were able to put trackers on these birds in Chile and actually follow their migration route all the way up into the Andes and then back down into the lowlands. 